primary driver for doing research really has to be, I think no matter what level you're at, has to be the passion for it, mm-hmm. that you actually have an interest in the area. There is no point in doing research and undertaking a research project is really, especially for a PhD, if your heart isn't in it. So you have to have an interest in it, a keen interest in it, and I think you have to recognize that at times, it's like there'll be good times, bad times, where the project will be going well, and then there'll be times where it's not going well. And um, you have to be able to cope with that and not expect everything to sort of just go very smoothly. I mean, it's not like doing an undergraduate degree, which is difficult, I don't mean that, but you know, when you set coursework and study the coursework and you go and you do an exam, I mean, doing research is, I suppose, is about, you know, you're going a little bit into the unknown, you're trying to solve a problem that there might actually be no solution to. Mm. And um, sometimes negative findings are positive findings and it still goes into your thesis. So, you may find that you're trying to, I don't know, design a drug for a particular disease, and it might, you might never get to that stage of designing that drug, and the project may fail. But I suppose the positive way, you can still publish that, you can still write a thesis about it, but I suppose the best way to think about that is because that can be quite negative for a student. The best way to think about that is you're stopping someone else following that same path. Mm. And I think that tends to be graduate students sometimes tend to think that, and I was the same, that there has to be always a positive outcome, and there always is a positive outcome, and that's just the nature of research. Other things would be, I suppose, making sure the project fits with your interest, that you have the right supervisory team, because these are the people that you can have to work with, um, that you'll have a certain amount of hand-holding at the start of doing a master's or PhD, but ultimately your responsibility and you're the one that's going to have to drive it and defend it actually at the end of the day when you do your either you're going to have to get up and defend your work and be able to argue for it. 